We've been through several eight months this year, and September proves to follow suit with it being an eight month as well. After all, nine plus two plus two plus four equals a 17, and one plus seven equals an eight. Abundance of everything. The lunar eclipse is overnight on the September 17th and 18th. It's also a super moon. It will be a transformative time for going within. In fact, during the first 18 months of September, I'm going to ask you to go within. Contemplate seriously what you truly want. What is your heart's desire? What would you like to create in the world? This is the time for it. I know it feels like an abundance of intensity in the energy and an overflow of chaos. However, it may just be the people on the planet and the planet itself rearranging for the coming times. From the 9th through the 18th, you may feel like you are being pushed beyond your comfort zone. So whether you can see the lunar eclipse or not, please, on the 18th or overnight 17th and 18th, spend some time going within. You've got that big old super moon to verify that and to amplify that energy. So during the day at 11, 11 a.m., wherever you are, take a minute, two minutes, maybe even five minutes to be still and visualize the world as you would intend it to be. Alternatively, you can do the same thing at 11, 11 p.m. Go outside, look at the moon, feel that energy of the big old super moon and Amplify your own creation. And of course, between the 9th and the 18th, visualize the desire that you have in your life. This is not just some random thing or this random time. It's truly This month is a decisive moment in history. It's a decisive moment in your life for setting an intention. And remember that the date 9-9 of 2024, which is the beginning of a kind of a portal, it seems, it adds up to an 8 also. 9 plus 9 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 equals a 26. 2 plus 6 equals 8. Again, symbolizing abundance of everything. It is important to understand that these two practices are not isolated. They are deeply connected. The transformative energy of the lunar eclipse and the supermoon amplify the power of your visualizations. It's a time to align your own inner desire and connect that inner desire with the cosmic energies. After all, consciousness creates form. It's a time to gather friends and strengthen your relationships. If you have haven't talked with someone in a long time, call them up. You may be surprised that you'll enjoy the conversation and it will feel almost like no time has passed. Another thing I will ask of you this month is to gather people together, meditate together, visualize conscious intention and how that can create form. Adiranda says that when two or more are gathered together, with the same intention anyway, it multiplies the energy by 144. So if you gather 10 people together and meditate, or whether you are watching Spiritual Happy Hour or The Double Digit or Two Girls in a Galaxy, that multiplies that energy as though it's the energy of 1,440 people. I mean, if you only have five people, that becomes the energy of 720 people. That energy then goes out into the ethers. This will be a time of gathering your forces or gathering the force (laughs) and unite those scattered energies that last month happened during the Lionsgate portal. September is always a month for changes, what with the equinox on the 22nd, but this month it's even bigger and more amplified because of the lunar eclipse and the supermoon. And those changes that are happening can be wearing on people a little bit. It seems like people in the U.S. sometimes seem to be desensitized to the turmoil of the war, or wars as they are in several nations in the world. That's why we are making a call to all light workers. Please gather your force together, band together, connect with the energy of peace, love, and then that has a chance to expand. September is also a month of retrogradity. I don't know if that's a word, but retrogradity, it's a word now. Several planets are going into retrograde. That always seems to upset the flow just a bit. What exactly does a planet going into retrograde mean? Well, when a planet is in retrograde, it appears to move 
backward in its orbit as it is seen from Earth. This is actually an optical illusion that is caused by the relative position of that planet and the Earth as they orbit the Sun. For example, when a faster moving planet catches up with a slower moving planet, it looks like the slower moving planet is actually going backwards. Again, that's the optical illusion. Really, the planets are both moving in the same direction, just at different speeds. Retro Retrograde periods can really vary in length from two or three weeks to a half a year. Some believe that retrograde can impact people's lives, affecting communication, romantic possibilities, career opportunities. <laughs> for example, some believe that Mercury retrograde actually happens three or four times a year and can impede technology or contractual legal agreements. They won't even sign a contract when Mercury is in retrograde. So in September, Uranus will be in retrograde retrograde. Pluto will be in retrograde. I mean, we just got out of Mercury in retrograde. Now, <laughs> how is all that retrogradity going to affect you? I don't really know a lot about astrology, but it might be a good time for you to have an astrological reading with someone because change is in the air. Pluto and Uranus will be in retrograde this month. This will create profound and definitive energies that might be a bit challenging to accept. They are both planets of sudden drastic changes. Now that might not fly with astrologers, but that is definitely the information that I received during meditation and conversations with Adaranda this month. Even though you might feel like you're crawling back into a corner and escaping into, well, I don't know what you escape into, please do not. So just what does Adiranda say about September 2024? They say to please be meticulous in your planning. Do not leave anything to chance. We don't mean that if an opportunity pops up that you should not accept it. I mean, even if you didn't plan on it, but know that when you step into the direction of an opportunity, it just means taking that step. You need to have your really good stepping shoes and your good stepping cold weather coat and your raincoat and your umbrella and maybe a sweater. And as you're stepping into your stepping wardrobe, uh, underneath all that, you need to have shorts, t-shirts, and sandals on because you need layers and to be prepared for anything. In other words, plan, acknowledge, be the Girl Scout or Boy Scout, be prepared and plan for sudden changes. It truly feels like in the first half of the month that you're going to look at your long range plans. What would you like to see in 2025? What would you like to see in 2026 or 2036? Take this into meditation and ask yourself, what would the perfect day look like? What does it feel like? What would your life look like or feel like in its whole wonderful perfection? How does it present itself? Is there love? Is there energy? What's your health? What's your relationships? What's the world feel like? Take that into meditation. What plans are you putting into action to accomplish that? Start that plan now. September is your planning month for the next three or five or 10 years. What is your 10-year plan? Have you thought about that? With the lunar eclipse on the 17th and 18th, the change has come into full swing. The equinox is on the heels of the eclipse. During that eclipse, please go inside, not physically into your house, but go inside your own body your own psyche, looking into what some shaman call the shadow side, to have an interplay of light that you get the opportunity to integrate. Eclipses are all about transformation. Now more than ever, the lunar eclipse is that time for transformation. It might even be a good time to create your own silent retreat, maybe on the September 18th or 17th, and have that act as a gateway to your own higher consciousness. We, I, actually see the veil between worlds becoming even thinner than before. So don't worry if things seem to get lost in the ethers. Just feel them, what it feels like to find them in your emotional body and, and they will come back to you. So what is the frequency of this month of September? Plan. Go inside and plan and be prepared to pivot in 
any direction, maybe even pivot into love. Namaste, y'all.